join me here? I am looking at... There she is. There we are. Our Norwegian Encore. So, sweet. And she actually has another nice... Uh, that's, you said that's uh, Italian. Uh, Italian Costa Cruise Lines. Nice. They are both 1,100 feet-ish. They're Buy huge. More, just so we get, yeah, go so, a little more. Let's and... check it out. Look at that. Yep. It's pretty crazy. So here we are in Tortola. And you can join us for, for our adventure. A picture, picture. No, no, we're recording. So oh, say hi. Hi. Hey, Nidia. Hi. <laughs> All right, everyone. We will uh, join us on our adventure. So we don't see the preview, but this is us getting ready to leave for our. We're doing the Paradise and Beach excursion. Yeah, Paradise and Beach. It's a shorter one. Well, it's like three, three and, and a half, half hours. hours. And we'll probably get a little bit of shopping time in as well and whatnot. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm uh, really hopeful. This this looks like it is, this is beautiful. And I haven't been here. And you said you went Just to once a and I went to Jos Van Dyke. Right? Didn't so you, get to do the so island So this is really itself. new to both of us. And uh, yeah. So we, uh, far, beautiful and clean. It's British. And <laughs> it's in the 70s right now. So it's this nice. is gorgeous. Yeah. There's Dry. a little, nice breeze. Yeah, lower humidity. This is a great time of Look year to get here. Look at the color of the water. And here. yeah, I'll come over by the water and get a nice shot of that. Yeah. But you can actually see the blue peeking through in our shot here. Yeah. So it is really like there you go. Look, that's wow. Some, that's some water there. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. So see you soon. Banana. 
Island is a great place to go for your diving. Check out the caves at Peter Island. Nice weekend getaway. The owner for Peter Island are the guys that own Hamway, the cleaning product company from the United States. They are the owner for Peter. They used to live in Boyd House and they would cook outside on the rock. This lady is making a thing called Bang Bang. It's a thing made from cassava. Church, vacation apartments, villas, cottages, supermarket, restaurant, distillery, it's all there on Cane Garden Bay. To Cane Garden Bay, we now in Cane Garden Bay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in above all that you already hear, and I want you to remember, I want you to remember these two things that I'm about to tell you. The location that we're going to be stopping, that location will have a lot of vehicles. I don't even know if I will be able to get a park in that area, but there will be a lot of vehicles there and some will look just like this one i do not want you to use the color of your bus or your transportation to know your vehicle to mark it no i want you to use the license plate sugar cane beach for cola He'll come back. You kidding? He'll be back. Pretty busy, but it's a beautiful beach. We got ourselves some seats, and we're going to relax and have some drinks. So I came down to watch the birds feed, because they are feeding like crazy. Bunch of pelicans. They're really not far from the people. Then go a little closer. Oh, look, there they go. Look at them. They're diving right in. Oh, there must be a nice school of fish right there because they have claimed it. Oh. Water's a little cool. My feet are just getting wet now. I'd say it's mid 70s water temperature, maybe 75. Still got a lot of warming up to do. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Now look at him now.
Kourou's Islands are located across from us. Those are part of the British Virgin Islands. We have Jasmine Dyke, Sandy Cay, and Sandy Split. Jasmine Dyke is the birthplace for two of the Virgin Islands' famous guys from the 1700s. One is William Thornton, the other one is John Lepsom. Thornton, he is the architect for the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. And Lepsom, he is the founder for the Royal Humane Society and the London Medical Society. This area is called Capone's Bay, and out here is one of our best surfing area. This is where you will see a lot of guys surfing when they have high tides. Sometimes we don't have so much of a high tide, but they still come out and grab a wave or two. So this is our best surfing area, Capone's Bay. stones and concrete across from the incinerator. That's a pillar. from slavery. They call it carnival. That time of year people would visit the islands to around the Caribbean and the neighboring US Virgin Islands to be for instance the coronavirus. They lay off a set of people so that if they have 10 staff they lay off five and use five to do 10 person work and balls and things hard. Across there on the right way to those sites that is the ferry terminal that is where you board the ferry that will take you to other islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands or the British Virgin Islands. Yes, yeah, so that's how they would do it here when there is a, a, a disaster, a pandemic or stuff like that. So, you know, when you work for a cruise line that only deals with these companies, like my company, they only work for cruise line. They don't really work. <laughs> something to work with. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Except that I'm taking a video because we didn't get a video of our dinner here the no, other night. So the lighting, tonight, in, um, the lighting in, in here is tough though. Yeah. And so is the sound. So I ordered the green drink that everybody's been drinking today. Whatever I don't know is. what it is. I've seen it everywhere all over the ship. All over the ship. And yeah. I saw a blue one too but I think it's a blue Hawaiian. Yeah. And you didn't ask the name of it, right? No, I, I don't know what it is still. It's green. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming well, it's sweet. They gave us a free bottle of wine for being platinum. Well, for me being platinum on uh, yeah. 
Latitudes member. So this is our free platinum meal. So it's over and above what they gave us for the um, dining package. They gave us two nights, but we got two more just for platinum. Yeah, and when they come back to it, yeah, we're gonna ask. Since I got an iceberg wedge, yeah, I'm gonna make sure I get an extra blue cheese. Yeah, they yeah. tend to go light. Yeah. You got, I thought and I, I got, got to ask for it. I should have just. I got French onion soup, but with no fattening fruiton and cheese on it, to, just the soup. Yep, with nothing to go over. And the I rim. got a petite fillet and some mushrooms, and we got a couple sides. So, nice healthy meal. And now, last time I had a really nice ribeye steak, a nice medium rare. It was beautifully tender. And I think I've pretty much stayed in steaks when we've been here. So I'm gonna try. They have a thing called a, a steelhead trout that I really want to try. Nice. And it's in a red wine sauce. And we'll, we'll give it a see. Shot. We'll see what that trout looks like. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's us tonight. We'll see. We'll see. No rim cheese. Yes. No rim at all. No, no rim, rim all. of any type. No cheese to make Plain. a rim. Thank you. There's your favorite wedge salad. I've really gotten to like these. Best I ever had was at Joe's. Mm -hmm. Crispy and good, right? This is crispy and good. But it does not have Joe's blue cheese. They're wow. dressing. Wow. And my onion broth. Some type of Hawaiian drink. Yeah, there's a blue Hawaiian. Oh, it should be. So it has pineapple in it. That's what I know. Blue curacao, pineapple. I'm not sure what else. I'll have another. Alrighty. Coconut. It has coconut. A quick video first. That is the trout. Steelhead trout. That petite filet. Then you can take the bread. And that is my potato and mushrooms and Dwayne's big potato and broccoli and steelhead trout. Okay. Looks like I should ask for a Oh, even I get a slight shadow.